Welcome to Ask Score Reviews. If you're a new time subscriber or if you're just here for this review, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, hit that bell icon for when I go live, if I go live, and when I do weekend uploads. Today on After Score Reviews, we will be having a look at the Ash vs. Evil Dead Demon Spawn figure. This figure has three interchangeable heads and a really, really cool paint job. The front and the back of the packaging are pretty cool with a window box packaging. The back of the packaging has some Ash vs. Evil Dead stuff and a Sam read up on the other figure and a images, some images of the figure here also available are Ash from Asylum Ash and Henrietta and it says includes alternate heads down there. And you can see it's kind of done in this red, kind of like this weird looking packaging. And I believe somebody said these are the same packages as Series 1 released. Uh, the side says Ash vs. Evil Dead, and it says A Star is Original Series. And then the front here has an image of the adult demon spawn. And you can see the demon spawn actually inside the packaging. The heads might be switched around because I didn't pay attention. Um, and then that's practically it. Now if you want to know the developers, it is on the bottom right there. Don't go anywhere. We will have a close look at this figure open and out of its packaging. Here's the adult demon spawn directly out of its packaging. As you can see, I haven't like interchanged its heads or anything, so we're going to have a closer look at its heads now. This head right here, as you can see, has a little bit of a paint D flaw um, on the teeth here, but it doesn't... I don't think it's noticeable too bad. I might actually touch that up myself. You can see these eyes here actually sculpted in, I think, pretty deep. Uh, I don't know if that's... I kind of see some weird looking thing in the eye socket there. I haven't noticed that. That might be just either the paint, like you can't see that with your normal eye. I think that's just the sculpting of that kind of plastic. It looks like the same color as the mouth. You can see how these eyes also have this kind of cracked look to them. And this head in particular has this black streak down the face that these other ones don't have. And there's also a whole bunch of black wash in these cracks. Really, really cool. Some black on the ear there. Really, really nice. Let's have a look at the other head. This head's the most menacing looking, I think. Kind of looks like he's almost attacking. This one actually has a different kind of color in the background. As you can see, it's kind of got, uh, it doesn't have these bleeding eye things. They're kind of just like here as if they're just there. I don't know if that makes any sense. Kind of like some sludge just sitting in the eyeballs there. And then the eyes, I don't know if it's just because each one has its own type of paint back there or what. Uh, if you might know anything about that, but you can kind of see the difference there in the coloring of the backs there. It might be just a different uh, paint effect or something. And of course, last here, we have this head, which I think is pretty good, especially because it just comes packaged. It has almost one eye that's deeper, I think. You can kind of see how glossy these are, and the teeth on this one aren't too bad. see all that nice detail there if I line up all three here I don't really think I can maybe I can hold all two I'll try there's a good look at different heads and the different expressions so we're gonna have a close look at this figure but first I'm gonna bring in some friends over here's the ultimate ash from ash vs evil dead over here's the asylum ash from the same wave now the other figure from this wave is not over here because guess what that's in the next video want to see that figure this is her. She's actually new sculpt, new paint, new different like heads and stuff. And it's a really cool figure. It'll go great with this Ash and it'll also go great with the Evil Dead 2 Ash. If you don't want to pick up the old Henrietta they made back in 2011. So this figure here uh, is kind of limber in like a sleek kind of way, which is how they looked in the show. But I almost want to give him another black wash because the cracks and stuff aren't too defined. Now before you guys ask... I don't think this is a joint here. I've thought that maybe this was a joint and then this was a joint because on the other NECA superheroes, it's a joint. But what this is, is actually just like a foam rubbery piece. Uh, it's the NECA diaper and it goes up and kind of makes this weird joint. Uh, it's not too noticeable. It sticks up a little bit far because that's why I thought it was a joint. But it is not. And he also has this weird kind of flat butt, but that's fine. The body looks it's like as if he's maybe starved to death or something. I mean, it's a, I guess it's okay kind of skinny. Um, <clears throat> something cool with these Ash figures is from the Ash vs. Evil Dead stuff, they've done double joints, and they, they didn't do it at Elegos, I don't believe, 
they did, then say that down in the comments, because I haven't checked out the review in a while, I wasn't paying attention. But for this figure, on the images he didn't have it, he only had uh, one elbow bend, so not two joints there. But uh, on the new Deadites, or the Demons, or whatever you want to call them, uh, they actually have double joints now. Which I think is really cool, especially if you're with the Demon Spawn, you need that. Henrietta, she's kind of a bigger gal, so it's kind of hard. To, it'll just look weird, kind of like the Mafex Robocop. So you can kind of see the figure there and everything and how he just, you know, he looks. You can pose the head uh, in different ways. I'm going to show you the articulation, I guess, here. I don't like to do that, but with this guy, you're kind of really getting what you want here. So the articulation on the arms, you can see how far they'll go up there. They'll go up pretty far up here, and then they will bend all the way up here, which is really nice. And they go all the way back down. And then the elbows, as I said earlier, are bendy. So you can get a nice bend there, and they kind of rotate around. So if you even need to do like a weird kind of pose, I don't know, you, I guess you can, but kind of difficult because it's double jointed. But you can kind of see all these veins and everything, how everything pops out. But one thing I want to point out about the head here is it's on a, I'll just show you. No, I won't. Okay, so actually right here, as you can see, uh, is a, a joint there, and that's without the head on it. So the head already has a joint up here that rotates, and that's usually fine with figures. But since this one has one in the lower neck and one in the, like, above the neck or below the head. Um, you can really get this figure into some really creepy different ways to look at everything. So if I can maybe kind of look them up really, really good if you wanted to. You can make them crawl or something. Pretty good there. Um, the hands are a little bit limited. I've noticed that. They're kind of like Black Series. You can kind of see the peg there. So they won't go this way. They'll go this way and this way, but they do swivel, so that's fine. Uh, detail look on the hands. I think they look pretty good. If I can get that to focus. Can't really. Figure also has kind of a metallic thing. You can kind of see that there. Almost reminds me of this. It's like black wash and got this nice silver look to him. You can kind of see that really everywhere. Like he's he's shiny, especially on the black here. Like let me. See how shiny he is? Which I didn't know he was going to look like that, but really cool. And again, the knees are actually double-jointed. So you can help, or it helps with the mobility and the pictures and everything. And then I guess it'll probably swivel, yeah, it'll swivel down here. And it'll swivel up here too, so if you needed to, you know, do something cool there. The torso has a joint right here, which rotates. And it's kind of probably a thin one, kind of like one in the head, so that's why I'm not moving it forward and back too much, but it does move forward and back really subtly. You can see that there, but it does really rotate. And you can kind of do that, not too well. But the feet are lim limited also like the hands. Uh, kind of see they're just like that. Actually, I think that's the ball joint right there. I'm gonna try and pose this guy in some different poses. So here's one right here, or like that also get this figure here now because um this figure over here technically never fights these or i don't believe he does during the scene that's why i have this guy over here for some different poses later and i also wanted to just bring him over here oh i hear something Ooh. never had this happen before what does it say looks like some oh oh ashy slashy yes this is the point i wanted to bring up last episode with this guy he should have came with an ashy sla ashy slashy puppet it was a lost opportunity, and I think he was like twenty one ninety nine. Not bad, a uh, dollar more, and I would have paid for a little ashy slashy puppet to go on his right hand, because that would have been awesome if they could have done that. Maybe they'll do an ultimate of this guy. That's what I was maybe probably not getting because they did an ultimate one of this one, is the one I have. But uh, I doubt they're gonna do an ultimate of, of this guy. So they didn't do one at Value Stop because nobody wanted it. But uh, that's why they gave the wooden hand with this one. You can get him into different poses, which is really, really, really cool. I'm going to do one with some with Ash. Here's a cool pose that took freaking forever to set up, but that looks really cool. I'll do some other ones. Maybe something like that. really doesn't go together. I can't really arrange it either. We'll have one more overlook over this figure. The ultimate, I mean, uh, the adult and ultimate, the adult demon spawn from Ash vs. Evil Dead. This is the NECA Series Wave 2, or Wave 2, I guess, Season 2, Series 2. Pretty cool that they go together have one more look over the whole overall figure in a closer detail and just 
have over more of a separate, I don't know. You can see the nice sculpting here, the back, kind of like the back blades and everything here, the bones. You got to see the thighs and everything there. Toes are actually pretty, pretty good looking feet there. I uh, never really had a good look at them uh, under the hard light. But I think they look pretty good. You can see the toenails and the wrinkles too. Thank you guys for watching After School Reviews. Today we were having a look at the Astro Evil Dead NECA or Adult Demon Spawn figure from Astro Evil Dead Season 2. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that bell icon for when I go live, if I go live, and when I do weekend uploads. Also, if you subscribe, say it down in the comments, and I'll subscribe to your channel. That's no joke. If you've been here till the end of the video, say the Evil Dead down in the comments, and that'll get you an, a bonus, a bonus shout out. If you, uh, y y just try, just type that down in the description or in the comments. Yeah.